getting this down after <laughs> eight weeks. All right, so welcome to, uh, this is class number 17, and as you guys remember, we switched from stri striking to standing grappling. Now we're switching to the floor, jujitsu, ground fighting, and there's so many bad situations that happen when you're on the floor. So we're gonna review a little bit of everything from Tuesday, and then add a couple new moves. I'm trying not to overload you guys. There's so much I wanna uh, cover, but the reality is, um, you want to master two or three or four good moves, all right? Those are the, the ones I want you to really, really get. The rest of the stuff, I'm adding because I think you can handle it, but um, at, at any point, I'll pull back a little bit. I don't know, well, like I said, we're, we're figuring it out as we go along. All right, anyways, class number 17, we're going to get up. We're going to get nice and warm right now, so everybody's up. Everybody's up on their feet. Let's get nice and loose. Let's start easy today. Let's go side to side. This little hip twist I love. Little shoulder twist, which is really the same motion as the hook. All right, let's go. Shoulder height, elbows 90 degrees, twist side, 20, 20. Side to side, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Whoa. All right, we're gonna reach down low. Look at this, really low, all the way to the ground, all the way across our body, from the ground to the sky. Ground, bend those knees, bend those knees. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, same thing other side. Bend low, turn those toes, turn those hips. Generate power from the toes to the end of the fist. Look at what's happening during a punch. You're generating ground force from the toes, from the feet, through the hips, through the core, all the way through your arms, and all the way to that snappy punch at the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go back to our karate chops. Remember that one arm in the air, same side leg is planted. Back leg is back for, just for balance, all right? Back leg comes up for balance. You're karate chopping the ground. Try to get close to the ground and touch it if you can. If not, whatever you can get. So keep that leg straight, back straight, arm straight, everything straight. All in your hamstring. Let's get 12 of these. Uh, that's four. Let's go. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Let's go other side. Try and chop the other arm, the other leg. Let's get 12. Let's go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. All right, good, good, good. Let's do a little jumping. Let's jump at an angle though. Everybody jumps in one direction, forward or side. Let's learn how to jump at an angle. So instead of jumping forward or sideways, we're gonna jump in that diagonal angle. Diagonal jump, and back. And then the other way. Diagonal jump, and back. All right, let's do that 20 times. Diagonal right, and back. Diagonal left and back, all right? So we play with those angles. That's how you really get advanced, especially when you're fighting, when you're trying to cut corners, cut angles. That's how you fluster people, all right? That's how you surprise people with your striking. You're in front of them, all of a sudden you're in the angle, you're in the side of them, you're behind them. Angles. Let's go, what's that? I lost count. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 more, a little faster. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do one more leg shrinking exercise. Let's get in our legs, let's get down. Actually, let's get down our knees. We're getting really good at popping up, popping down. So we're down here, we're seated. Let's go left, right, 
Back down again, move back to my knees. Come up with the left leg, but I'm staying low the whole time. And drop back down again. Up, up, down. All right, we'll start with the left leg first. Left, right, down. Look at my knees. Left, right, I'm staying low. I'm staying really low. It's gonna help me get that little lower quadrant leg strength. So we're gonna do 10 with the left side, and we're gonna do 10 with the right side first. So that's five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Start with the right leg now. Come up with the right leg first. Right, left, come down. 10, nine, keep going. Eight, let those legs burn. That's how they get stronger. Seven, six, <laughs> Four. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, good, good, good. You want to get that lactic burn. All right. Let's do a little bit of other ones. Actually, let's stay down there. Let's work our upper body a little bit. Upper body strength. Upper body strength. Let's go back to our shoulder push ups. We haven't done those in a while. You want to get strong shoulders. Get up in the air. Get up in the air. Try to touch your head on the ground. If you can. If you can, if you just a little bit, that's fine too. Let's try to get 20 shoulder push ups. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. to the knee. Push up, turn to the side, elbow to the knee. You can do it on the feet or on your knees. Either way is fine. Take 12 of these. Push up, elbow knee. Elbow knee. Elbow knee. Side hip, same thing. Scissor your legs. Try 
Remember scissor sweep. We do that again later. It's all this motion here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So other side. Same thing. Hit it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's do it one more. Let's do little circles. Little outer circles. Outer circles. Outer circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inner circle. The other circle. The other way. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Good. Just one more for hips. This one. Flat on her back. We're going to do a half step. We're going to turn to one side. I'm going to pull some one arm. I'm going to have this arm here. I'm going to lift my hips as high as I can to this, this half position here. Back down again. Other side. Sit up. Pull some one hand. Pop the hip. This is actually a move also. We're going to learn later. Sit up. Pull the hand. Pop the hips. Sit up. Pull the hand. Pop the hips. Sit up. Pull the hand. Pop the hips. Let's get 12 of these. That's four. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good, good, good. And let's do one more variation. We also did the trap and roll. So this time, it's the same motion. You're not going to push your arm. You're just going to drive your hips up in the air. You're going to look over your shoulder. Reach across. So drive your hips as high as you can. Remember, you trap and roll. Trap and roll. So reach across. I want you to reach as across as far as you can. So lift your hips up nice and high. The higher the hips, the better. Both sides. Let's go. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 20 shrimps. Let's go. You guys get it? Let's do it. You need to you need to master this move. It's very important. It's called a shrimp. You're turning your body into a shrimp. The higher your hips, the better. Some of you are not going far enough. Your hips should end up where your shoulders are at. Turn sideways. Push off the ground. Use your feet to push off the ground. Some of you are not moving at all. Adi, you, need to, you guys need to move a little more. Hips. Hips all the way back. Slide them all the way back. Use your feet. Your hips, look at my hips. My hips are here. They need to go way over here. Way over here. So I'm going to lift my hips up. A little space here. I turn sideways using my feet. And I push my hips all the way back. See that? See how far you can? Up. All the way back. I trip. All the way back. I trip. All the way back. All right, let's get it. 20. 20 
strips. Keep going, everybody. I want to see it. Some of you are looking pretty good. Your legs should nice. You're looking good, Caden. Looking good. Let's go, everybody. Who else? Joanna, more hips. Get your hips all the way higher. Get your hips all the way higher. All the way higher. All right. And if you guys get this, get it. Go a little faster. A little faster. A little faster. A little faster. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, yeah, you're, you're good. <laughs> no, you're looking good, though. All right. Everybody else. So everybody, just understand that position. So you're starting in this position. You end up in this shrimp. You should end up in this position on your side. You're here to here. Here to here. Sideways. All right. So anyways, that's the shrimp. I want you guys to do that every day. It's a great core exercise, but it's actual fundamental jujitsu move. All right? Again, bypass your legs. Try to smash them, try to hold it down. Keep your hip width. Shoot your up, all the way up. Shrimp all the way up. Here, I'm smashing on top of them. Shrimp all the way up. Bring your legs back in. Now she has her legs here. Now she can take it fight where she wants to. The shrimp. All right. All right, good. All right, anyways, let's get up on our feet. <laughs> we'll do more of that later. Well, I want you guys getting really good at that. In class, you'll be going shrimping all the way across the mats, back and forth and back and forth until you got it. Here, it's kind of hard for me to see, but most of you are getting it pretty good. All right, in our feet. All right, let's get back in our stance. Let's get up. Let's bounce a little bit. Let's go. We're gonna do a little bit of, I want you guys getting really tired because I got, so I can cover. Right now, we're gonna do five squats, jump squats. Five jump squats. You're gonna get down. Five push-ups. You're gonna get up. Five jumping jacks. We're gonna do that straight for one minute. 60 seconds, okay? So non-stop, five jump squats. Nice, you're squatting and jumping. Squatting and jumping, five times. Five push-ups, five jumping jacks. All right, we got it. Ready, ready. One minute straight. And, and hit it. Let's go. One minute straight. I even set the timer. Keep us on it. Let's go. Five jumping jacks, five push ups, and then five, and then five jump squats. All right, five push ups, five jump squats, five, four, three, two, one, and then five jumping jacks. I don't care what the order, just those three. All right, it starts all over again. Keep going. Five push-ups, five jumping jacks. Everybody, let's go, let's work. It's only a minute, it's only a minute. Get in shape. Keep working, keep going, don't quit. Don't quit because you're tired, quit when it's over, quit when you're safe. When you're surviving, learn to tap into those emotions, anything that gets you fired up, keep those memories, keep those images in the back of your mind. That's how you keep pushing, no matter what. Think about your relatives, think about somebody else. You don't care about yourself so much. Think about the people you love. That usually fires you up. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Let's go, 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. And one. All right, everybody, good job. That's our warm up, get some water, take a quick breather. We're gonna get back right into where we left off at.
everything we covered really fast. Everything we covered from Tuesday. Remember, switching modes, we're shifting gears, shifting mindsets. But the reality is, everything that applies on the feet, not everything, most of the stuff applies on the ground. Right? We don't want to give up our back. Never let somebody get behind you. That's a really bad situation. It's probably the worst case scenario. Never let somebody take your back. Same thing applies on the ground. Never turn your back. All right? Also, at first, you keep your distance. Always try to keep your distance. Keep them away from you if you can. That's the goal, right? Right now, we're not, we're not comfortable yet. We're not good yet on the ground. But we're still gonna learn stuff because eventually you can get good if you put the time and energy in. But at first, especially you guys are still learning, we keep them away from us. We look for opportunities. So we're here, we keep our tack in front of us. We, we always try to keep them here, keep them away, distance movement. Any reason we fall down or we get taken down, we immediately try to keep them away from us. Use our legs, use our hands. I'm trying to keep my hips. I can look for opportunities, keep to the face, keep to the groin, keep to the splits. But I mean, look at my hips. Our hips are always in positioning. I'm always, uh, does the angle then? Right. Yeah. I'm always clear. She comes this way. I turn my hips. I'm using my hands. This is a good little drill you can do it at home. Try to have somebody try to get around you. Use your feet. Push on their hips. Push on their stomach. Push on their chest. Push on their legs. Keep them away. Look at that. It's a goal. This is a good drill. You can do it at home. Keep your distance. Don't let them get close to you. At any moment, if you push them off, you create space. You do a technical stand up. Get up. If you can get up, get up. Now you have your ability to move. So that's key number one. Keep them away from you, keep your distance. Don't turn your back, it's a really bad thing. People turn their back or they ball up, they cover up, they think they're safe. But in reality, it's the worst thing that can happen to them. At that point, you become vulnerable. They can do anything they want to you. They can kick you in the head, punch you, choke you. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, number two, if, if they get past, right? Here's the mobile. You're trying to do the right things, you're trying to keep them away, they get past your leg. Immediately, what do we do? This is bad for me, this is a bad situation. Right, this is bad, this is horrible. This is, why is this horrible? Because my legs, my leg, I need to get my legs between my attacker. That's why I need to learn how to shrimp, get my legs back in. I need to be able to ball up, get my knee shield, my knee shield here, so I got my legs in between my attack. So even if she passes my legs, I don't give up. I'm like, oh, I give up. No, I shrink up. I get my legs back in. I learn, I'm using my hips, I'm using my core. I have my shield, I have my force fields, right? I have my arms and my legs here. So she passes my legs. I need to push maybe a little bit with my hips. I shrink, I shrink out, I get my legs back in. Now I have my force fields back. I have my arms and my legs. From here I can work. I can here I can still keep them away. So that's the other rule. Always keep your legs in between your attackers. She passes me. Oh, this is really fast. Oh, shrimp out. Get here. All right, so this is another drill. Let them pass you. Learn how to shrimp. Get your knees back in. Learn how to push off the ground with your hips. I'm using my hips. I'm getting my, so they can never control me if they can't control my hips. If you can, if you can keep your hips away, if you can escape your hips, you always have the ability to get your legs back in, okay? So that's a drill, hopefully you can be doing at home. All right, so that's all review. That's not really jiu-jitsu, a little bit of jiu-jitsu, the shrimping is jiu-jitsu. The rest of it is just common sense. <laughs> all right, so don't fall properly first, break fall immediately. Keep your attacker in front of you. Don't turn your back. Keep your legs in front of your attacker, try to keep them away from you. Because they're standing, you're on the feet. When they're standing, they have power. They can punch you with power. They can stomp you in the head with power. They can hit you with, they attack you with a knife. The person on the feet has the advantage. On the ground, it's not in such a good position yet. Okay, the first one we learned, they get past your feet. I didn't shrimp out enough, they mount you. She got a full mount here, right? This is a really bad situation for me because they can start choking me. They can pull my hair, they can punch me. They can poke me in the eyes, they can hit on me. I need to immediately get out of this. The way I do it, it's called, and especially if they're choking you, man, they're making it kind of easy for you. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna capture, I'm gonna trap an arm. I like to trap here, trap here, you need to make sure they can't pull it out. Trap an arm here, trap an arm. I need to decide what way I'm gonna roll this way. If they have long legs, the reason I'm trapping is because I don't trap, they can post out. 
or even with their leg in the post out. All right, so I need to kind of capture. So I'm gonna trap an arm. Sometimes when you trap the leg, I like to trap the leg here. And then we just do just that warm up roll. We roll, we trap, we, we butt roll. We roll, we trap and roll. So that's the first one we learned. Trap and roll, all right? And I want you guys to practice at home. Have somebody mount you. This is a bad situation. They're sitting on your stomach. They're sitting on your chest. They're choking you. You need to get out. Your job is to trap and roll. And you go either way. Trap, look at my hips, look at my shoulders. I'm looking to roll it all the way. The higher the better. Trap and roll. All right, so that's the first one we learned. The key here is capture, trap the sides. You can't post out. Raise your hips up, look over that shoulder. The higher the better. And it's better when you do a full speed. Be careful with your partner, you don't want them to hit their head. Uh, but the reality is, if you do slow motion, they can kind of see and they can readjust. But do a slow motion at home, because you're learning. Uh, hopefully you have soft services. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the first move. The second move, uh, the other thing I want you guys to learn is the difference here. So, when my legs are up, I, it's called, we're guard. She's in my guard. I have a guard, this is my guard. And there's different types of guard. This is kind of called open guard. It's open, right? She can move around and have a lot more. So this is called the open guard. My knees and my legs, my guard. At any moment, if she starts hitting me really hard, I can decide to go into what's called a closed guard. I can pull her into my clothes, with my legs. They wrap around her legs. And then, look at my arms. I can go into any kind of the clinches. I can go into an over-under clinch. Over on, just like on the feet, look at that, it's an over-under clinch. She's trapped it, so she can't really hit me, she can't do much. Just like on the feet, I'm relatively safe here. She can't really do much, it's called a closed guard. At any moment, I can decide, or she can get out of it sometimes, and then at any moment, it goes back into an open guard. Back into an open guard, so it's open guard, closed guard. Open guard, closed guard. So this is, this is kind of, it's a from being punched. All right, so you go back and forth, depending on the situation. The second move we learned is from, right, you can go to the closed guard for a little bit, but sometimes you can open your guard. The second move we learned is called the scissor sweep. For this move to work, I gotta turn on my side. Look at, I'm on my side hip. Side hip. Look at my legs, I can scissor her over, but if I try to do here, she's, up, she's balanced. She's heavy, it's not gonna work. I need to bring her weight forward. And I can grab her head, I can grab her arm. It doesn't really matter what I, I need to pull her. So I can grab two on one. I need to yank her on me. Why? Because I need to make her lighter. The more I pull, the lighter she gets. The lighter she gets, and then from here, I can just chop her over with my legs. Now I'm on top. Now I'm in a good position. All right, so this is another drill I want you to do. So one person gets on top, starts choking, she's gonna drop the roll. Oh, she's gonna get on top. Now, the person on bottom goes to open guard. I turn sideways, and now I do a scissor sweep. Oh, she comes over. Now she's trapped and roll the next way. Oh, you guys go back and forth. I'm gonna send her this way. Turn sideways, I yank her forward. Boom! All right, so it's a great drill to get practice with both of them. So those are the first two real moves we learned. The trap and roll, and that gets you out of that choke mount. The choking mount, that's a horrible position. Somebody's sitting on top of you, they're trying to choke you. Or they're pulling your hair, they're punching you in the face. You need to get out of that ASAP. Okay, so that's the first rule. The trap and roll. The second is the scissors, the scissor sweep. And that's the first sweep we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn a few of them. Okay, sweep, remember what a sweep is. A sweep is a reversal. They're on top, you're on the bottom. Now you're gonna sweep them, you're gonna reverse positions. That's what a sweep is. You're reversing positions. You're going from a bad position to a good position. Okay, bad to good. All right, so that's our review. Any questions on that? Okay, good. So the next one we're gonna learn today, you already kind of know it. Look here, I'm in my guard, she's got, down here. She's punching me. Maybe I went for a scissor sweep, and they're smart, they're leaning back, I can't pull on them. But look like what's here, look what's available. They're punching me, if I can grab a watch, what is this, what is here? I can do a couple things, I can do an arm drag, arm drag, and I can pull, look at my hips, I can turn out, I can pull it outside. And from here, I can go for a choke. Go through the back and start choking up. The arm drag is there, wow. Right, just like the feet. Or what else is here? I'm gonna fit. I grab the wrist. What is this? Look at that. The kimura is here. The kimura is here. You guys see that? All right, so the kimura. So this is the, this, this is the second, the third move we're gonna learn. The kimura from the ground. You already kind of know it. 
The only difference here is you gotta use your legs to finish this. All right, so the keys, I start to say, I need to grab, I need to grab the wrist. I need to grab the watch. I need to do a sit up. I need to do a sit up. Look at that, I gotta go over the arm, through the arm, grab my own wrist. Once I have the Kimura, same concepts apply, just like the feet. I wanna keep it bent. Don't let them straighten the arm. Keep it bent, 90 degrees. Bent 90 degrees. And from here, look at my hip. This leg is gonna come over to the shoulder. Why? Because I don't want her to pop out. I want to trap her. So this leg and my hip is gonna come way out here. I'm gonna turn into it. Look at my hip. Look at my position. I'm looking this way. Then I'm gonna shift my hip out and bring the leg over. Look at that, you're trapped. I got there. All they gotta do is bring the hand to the head, hand to head, and they're done. So this is the third movement up. You guys already know this one. This is so great. The Kimura, and Jenny's gonna do it right now. I want you to see it. All right, so this is the Kimura from the ground. The same concepts apply. The only difference here is you gotta use your legs to trap them, to hold them in place. You gotta hold them in place. The whole point of jujitsu is using leverage. Your whole body versus the arm, all right? So they're gonna win, your, whoever has the, the proper leverage, the proper position is gonna win that. Okay, but you gotta keep them in place. All right, so, so here, so Jenny's here. I took Jenny down, ah, she fell down. I'm on top of her, try to hit her. At any moment, she's gonna grab the core up, boom. She's gonna come over the top. Sit up, good. She's gonna turn it. Look at that. She's it to your leg is here, trapped. I can't get up. I'm stuck. I'm, look, I'm really gonna try to get up. I can't. If I get up, I pop my shoulder up. So that's a that's a legit move. Keep more from the ground. The grip is the same. Everything's the same. The only difference is you gotta turn your hips in. Turn your hips in. Bring the leg over. All right. So good slow motion. So here, you're fighting. Boom, boom, boom. So uh, she grabs her wrist, Kimura, she grabs over the top, right away, she shifts her hip, that's the key right there, I'm gonna go, go back. Look at her hips, her hips are here. Her hips are here, look at her hips go all the way over, her leg goes over the top. Now I'm trapped. Now it's her whole body, her spine, arm, my shoulder, she can't. So she's gonna get it every time. So that's the Kimura from the ground. We got that? Everything's the same from the ground to the floor. Okay, good. Here's one more move. This is the last one for today, because I don't want to. I just want to introduce two more. All right, we're here. So, we're on the ground. I try the scissor sweep. She's too smart. She's leaning back. She's not letting me pull her. All right? And uh, she's leaning back. Her weight's all the way back. So instead of, I can try to get up. So I'm going to go to a third move. This is another sweep. This is called the Kimura sweep. You're going to pretend you're going to do a Kimura, but you're really not. You're going to do that move we did in the warm-up. Yeah, I post on my hand, I post on my hand, I lift my hips up, I grab something, I need to grab something. So this is called the Kimura Street. I grab something, I grab an arm, I bump her with my hips. My hips come up in the air, I bump her over, boom! Come all the way over. All right, so it's a Kimura sweep. I use the Kimura to, to bring her over. All right, so here. So Jenny's gonna go for a scissor sweep first. It's not gonna work, I'm leaning back. And she's gonna come up, Kimura, she grabs her, she's gonna pump you over, boom. Nah, is she gonna finish Kimura from there? Actually, the Kimura, you can get the Kimura from many different positions, but that's just one for today. All right, so this is the third, I guess the fourth move, right? The third is the Kimura, try to finish it. If, or you can use a Kimura sweep, that'll be uh, move number four. All right, so I'm gonna do it to her, she'll do it to me. So I'm here, I'm gonna try to do the scissor sweep, she's not fudgy, I'm gonna post on the hand, my feet are gonna to come to the ground. I'm gonna lift my hips up. I'm gonna push off the hand, and I'm gonna grab something. I either grab here, or I can bring it in her armpit. I just need to grab onto something so I can bump her over. Look at, and I pop my hips, just like in the warm up. Pop the hips up, she goes up and over. Boom, now I'm in the mouth. Good. Now she can do it to me. She gets back here. She's gonna try a center sweep. It doesn't work. She's gonna post the hand. So grab her, come to here. But the higher she lifts her hips, the more I bump over. This is a Kimura sweep, okay? So this is a move. This is a way to reverse positions. Reversing positions. Remember, jiu-jitsu is all about who has a superior position. In general, the person on top has the advantage, all right? There's people who get really, really amazing on the bottom. They, 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 they call them guard players. They prefer the bottom because they've been doing it for years and years and years. There's so much you can do from the guard. Jenny, can you show just, I don't want to overload you guys, but Jenny's going to show you a demonstration. She's going to, we're going to learn this later, not today. 
from here, she, somebody choking you, she can do an arm bar. She can do an arm bar. She's here, she can choke you. I just snap my bar, she's an arm bar. If she can pull me in, she can do a triangle. Boom, this is another type of choke. She can do a, a course with Kimura from there. Kimura's always there, boom. They get all these attacks. She can also do uh, an omoplata. Omoplata, boom, she can count me here. These are all crazy moves. I don't know how many we're gonna learn, but, but there's so many options from the bottom. But for you guys, sorry, I just wanted you to see some of the options. For most of you guys, uh, the reality is, get really good, get really good at the sweeps. I'd rather have you guys on top. Why? Because the person on top can easily get out. At any point, they can get out. When you're at the bottom, <laughs> it's a little bit of work. You have to fight for the getting out, okay? Any questions on this? So once again, we have the, uh, let's go through them real quick and that's it. Uh, so, so Jenny's here, so she can go for, she can go for the Kimura first, or finish the Kimura, off the top, boom, that's option one. She can do, she can do the sweep, scissor sweep, scissor sweep, pull me over, boom, that's option, that's, part, that's option one or two. Or, she can do the Kimura bump sweep. She goes for the scissor sweep, it doesn't work, I pop, pop back and she leaves up, boom. All right, brings me over. So let's, those are, those are more movements, more options. Okay? And they're not rocket science, it's just about getting that perfect body position, perfect timing, perfect knowing what they're doing and reacting. Remember I told you, Jiu Jitsu is all about, it's like a chess game. They do one move, you do another move. You do a counter move. They're leaning back, okay, boom, I hit them with this. They're leaning forward, I lean them with this. Okay, so that's, a, that's our new moves for today. Everybody got it? We good? <laughs> Anybody? Yes, no? Okay, all right, so remember, this is all recorded, you can rewatch this, but the key here is you need to find a partner. You need to practice this stuff, or else it's just gonna go in one ear or out the other. Drill it, drill it 10, 20 times. Get a partner, teach them the move, and then teach them also too. When you guys are on the ground, this is what we do in Jiu-Jitsu. See how we're on my knees, I'm nice and balanced here. In reality, that's, right. that's how you, in general, people when they fight you in the self-defense, they're either gonna be standing over you, Right, and that's really bad, you kick them up, or they're gonna be getting their knees balanced here. They're trying to attack you here, okay? Choking you here. So have your partner, make sure you have a good partner. Teach them how to stay nice and balanced on their knees. Nice and balanced, they're on their knees, their hips are back, they're kind of balanced, either they're leaning forward, trying to choke you or punch you, or they're kind of leaning back. All right, that way you can practice the moves. So, so make sure your partner's just not flopping over, is what I'm saying. Right, so if they get a partner and they're flopping all over the place. Make sure to teach them how to balance themselves with their knee and positioning. All right? All right, so we're moving on. All right, that's enough for today. Ugh. In reality, I'd watch you drill and drill and drill and drill. We can't do that because you're safe at home on your couches. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get up, let's work out. We got about 15 minutes. Let's go through our usual stuff. I know it's getting a little tedious at this point, but it's part of it. You gotta just drill over and over and over again. All right, everybody, let's get up. Everybody up, everybody up, everybody up. Let's go. <laughs> everybody up, let's get up. All right, let's get here. Let's go back to day one stuff. Let's move our head a little bit. Let's work our defense. Defense, this stuff, the more you do it, the better. I don't care if you know it. You don't know it until you do it a thousand times, in my opinion. All right, ready, ready? Let's go slip, slip. Slip, slip, let's go 10 times. Slip, slip, move your head to the side, off the center line. Let's go, 10, nine, start slow, go fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go under 10 times. Under, under, again, let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wow, let's do our shield block, shield block, shield block. Really, remember, comb the hair, make sure there's no space in there. Imagine punches coming right at your head. You're blocking them. A baseball bat's coming at your head. Skateboard, you're blocking, you're blocking, you're, blocking. you're shield blocking. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, good, good. Let's go check, we're checking kicks. Check, outside check. Roundhouse check. I really want you guys to feel what a leg kick feels like. So you respect, you guys don't really respect leg kicks yet. <laughs> Not till you feel it. But you understand the power. It feels like a baseball bat right in your leg. Five, four. It's a powerful weapon. Right? You guys are never unarmed, man. You have elbows, you have shins, you have knees, you have fists, head butts. <laughs> you gotta go next level. All right, good, good, good. All right, let's go. Ole, let's go. Ole. Hand swipe. Hand here. In my, in my stance, ole. Let's go forward, front ole, back ole. Bring it back. 
always bring it back. It has to always return to your face. Remember, when you're punching or you're defending, you're still vulnerable. So you gotta bring it right back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Wow, let's do two of everything. Two of everything. Let's go. Ready, ready? Let's go. Slip, slip. Under, under. Shield block, shield block. Check to check. Ole, ole. Good. We've done this before, so let's go a little faster. Slip, slip. Under, under. Shield block, shield block. Check, check. Ole, ole. Let's go. Move that head. Move under, under. Use your legs. Bend those hips. Shield block, shield block. Check, check. Ole, ole. Three more times. Faster. Slip, slip. Under, under. Shield block, shield block. Check, check. Ole, ole. Two more times. Fast. Slip, slip. Under, under. Shield block, shield block. Check, check. Ole, ole. Last time. Full speed. Slip, slip. Under, under. Shield block, shield block. Check, check. Ole, ole. Good, good, good. All right. Let's go through all our weapons. Why not? Let's go three of everything. Three jabs. Again, three jabs. Again, three jabs. Again, three jabs. Three crosses. One, two, three. Three crosses. One, two, three. Three crosses. Let's go jab cross three times. Jab cross. Jab cross. Jab cross. Let's go cross, jab, hook. Jab, hook. Jab, hook. Jab, hook. Jab, hook. Let's go hook, cross. Hook cross, hook cross, hook cross. Let's go jab uppercut, jab uppercut, jab uppercut. Let's go cross front uppercut, cross front uppercut, cross front uppercut. Let's add a little defense. Let's go jab cross, slip, slip, hook cross. Jab cross, slip, slip, hook cross. Let's go jab cross, slip, slip. Hook cross, nice and smooth, make it smooth, put it all together. Slip, slip, hook cross. Jab cross, slip, slip, right when you come back, hook cross. You're slipping a punch, come in and fire it right back with your offense. Last time, slip, slip, hook cross. Good, all right, let's go through our elbows. Let's go jab, side elbow, jab, side elbow, jab, side elbow, jab, side elbow, jab, up elbow, jab, up elbow. Jab, side, up. Jab, side elbow, up elbow. Jab, side elbow, up elbow. Let's go jab, cross, elbow, elbow, up, up. All right, two straight punches, two side elbows, two up elbows. Faster, four times. Jab, cross, elbow, elbow, up, up. Jab, cross, side, side, 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 up, up. Faster, last time. Jab, cross, side, side, up, up. Nice, good. All right, let's go with our knees. Let's go two jabs, two knees. Two jabs, two knees. Two jabs, two knees. Let's go two crosses. Two straight crosses, two jump knees. Two straight crosses, two jump switch knees with the front leg. Two straight crosses, two jump switch knees with the front leg. Let's do the whole thing, put it together. Two jabs, two back knees, two crosses, two jump switch knees. Again, two jabs, two knees, two crosses, two jump switch knees. Last time, full speed. Two jabs, two jump knees, two crosses, two jump switch knees. Good. All right, let's do our double knee. We learned that one. It's a little flashy, but it really works. So when it's jump, run at somebody. You run at somebody, you throw a knee, you throw the second knee. The second knee is the one that lands. The second knee is the one that lands. The jump double knee. So let's set it up. Let's go jab, cross, hook, jump, double knee. Jab, cross, hook, jump, double knee. Let's go. Jab, cross, hook, jump, double knee. The knees go one, two. All right, the back leg goes first. The second one, in the air, switches. Jab, cross, hook, double knee. Let's go, four more times. Jab, cross, hook, double knee. Again, jab, cross, hook, double knee. <laughs> One more time, full speed. Nice. All right, we got all these moves, I love it. All right, let's play a little bit, a long stuff. Let's do a little bit of kicks. Let's do jab, hook, with the same lead hand, and then two roundhouse kicks. Remember, leg comes up, arm comes down. 
All right, jab, hook, two roundhouse kicks. Again, let's go. Jab, hook, jab, hook, two roundhouse kicks. Jab, hook, two roundhouse kicks. Jab, hook, two roundhouse kicks. Keep going, one more time. Jab, hook, two roundhouse kicks. Good, all right, let's learn how to do the jump switch. Let's go front jump. Let's do front teep, front push kick, cross, little cross, jump switch, left kick, all right? So front push kick, cross, hook, cross, a jump switch, change the leg, and then two back, back kicks. Okay, let's go. Front push kick, cross, hook, cross, jump switch, two kicks on the other side. Let's go. Push kick, cross, hook, cross, jump switch, two kicks on that side. All right, ready, let's go. Push kick, cross, hook, cross, jump switch, two kicks. Two more times, faster. Push kick, cross, hook, cross, jump switch, two kicks. Again, push kick, cross, hook, cross, jump switch, two kicks. All right, one more. Push kick, cross, hook, cross, Jump switch, two kicks, and good. All right, let's take a 30 second break. <laughs> 30 second break real quick, 30 seconds only. We're still going, we still got time. All right, we still got what, 10 minutes. We're gonna keep going, why not? This stuff is all review now, but we're not getting real fluid with it. Everything's kind of coming together. Putting all our pieces together. All right, good. Let's try a different one. Let's go long. Let's go jab, cross, jab, under, hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. All right? So two punches, two unders, two hooks, two uppercuts. Ready? Ready? Everybody, re everybody back. Jab, cross, jab, under, Hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. All right, let's go again. Jab, cross, hook, under, hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Let's go, four more times. Jab, cross, hook, I mean jab, cross, jab, under, hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Let's speed it up, a little faster. Jab, cross, jab, under, hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Again. Jab, cross, jab, under, hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Faster. Jab, cross, hook, jab, under, hook, under, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Good. All right, let's do some body shots. Let's do some body shots. Let's set it up first. Let's go to jab, uppercut, cross. Same hand, jab, uppercut, then a cross, then a body shot, then a body shot, then a hook, then a hook, all right? Two downstairs, two upstairs. So jab, uppercut with the same hand, cross, body, body, hook, hook. All right, let's go. Jab, uppercut, cross, body, body, hook, hook. Nice, right, let's go. Jab, uppercut, cross, body, body, hook, hook. Again, jab, uppercut, cross, body, body, hook, hook. Again, jab, uppercut, cross, Body, body, hook, hook. Again, faster. Jab, up the cross. Body, body, hook, hook. Again, jab, up the cross. Body, body, hook, hook. Again, jab, up the cross. Body, body, hook, hook. Last time, full speed, as fast as you can. Jab, up the cross. Body, body, hook, hook. And good. All right, nice. All right, let's play a little bit with her. Let's play a little bit of their fancy stuff. We got a couple fancy things. Flashy moves that you throw in there every once in a while. All right, so let's start here. Let's come in with a double jab. I should do a jab across, but the cross is just a setup, just for the thin back elbow. Okay, so we're gonna go, let's go two jabs, cross, throw it, and step at the same time, because it's a setup for our sitting back elbow. Okay, let's go. So two jabs, throw the cross, but step with it. That way you can set that spinning back elbow. You're not gonna see it coming. All right, let's go. Two jabs. Cross step, spinning back elbow. Good. Again, two 
Two jabs, cross step, spinning back elbow. Again, two jabs, cross step, spinning back elbow. Keep the hand around your face the other way. Two jabs, cross step, spinning back elbow. Two jabs, cross step, spinning back elbow. Two jabs, cross step, spinning back elbow. One more. Two jabs, cross step, spinning back elbow. Good, that's part one. Part two, we're gonna do, we're gonna go, we're gonna go hook, cross, hook, side step to the side, and then a super punch. Okay, hook, cross, hook, hook, cross, hook. I take a big sliding step sideways, and then I jump with a super punch. Okay, so this that's part two. We're gonna put those two together in a second. Hook, cross, hook, big side slide step. I get an angle, and then I get him with a super punch. Okay, let's go. Hook, cross, hook, big side step, slide, super punch. Again, hook, cross, hook, side, side step, super punch. Again, hook, cross, hook, super side step, super punch. Remember you, all right, again, hook, cross, hook, big side step, get that angle, boom, super punch. One more time, we're gonna put it together. Hook, cross, hook, big side step, super punch. Nice, let's put those two together now. If you pull this off, you're gonna be a, a highlight reel ninja on YouTube. All right, go. So two jabs, uh, cross step, spinning back elbow, come back, hook, cross, hook, side step, jump, super punch. Okay, put the whole thing together, part one, part two. Ready? Let's go. Two jabs, cross step, spring back elbow. Back to your stance, hook, cross, hook, side step, super punch. Nice, that's one. Let's get two, two or three more of these. Again, two jabs, cross step, spring back elbow. Back to your stance, hook, cross, hook, step to the side, super punch. Nice. Let's go, we're looking good. Two jabs, step cross, spring back elbow, hook, cross, hook, step to the side, Super punch. Two more times. Let's get it perfect. Two jabs, cross step, spin back elbow, back to your stance, hook, cross hook, step to the side, super punch. Last time, let's make it perfect. Two jabs, cross step, spin back elbow, back to your stance, hook, cross hook, step to the side, super punch. Nice. <laughs> All right, so that's a little flashy, but it's amazing. You guys are looking good. Anybody can pull this stuff off if you practice it. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's work our, our takedowns. I really want to make sure you get these. All right, first one. Let's start everything with a jab cross. Let's go jab cross. Let's drop our level. Grab the back of the legs. And then run them over. The double leg takedown. All right, jab cross. Drop your level. Grab the back of the leg. Double leg takedown. Let's get five of these. Again, jab cross. Drop your level. Grab the back of the legs, hit them with your shoulders, knock them over. Jab cross, drop the level, run them over. Let's go again. Jab cross, drop the level, run them over. Again, jab cross, drop the level, run them over. Two more times, full speed. Last one, full speed. And good. All right, so that's, that's option number one. That's a great option. Number two, let's go jab cross, jab cross. Let's go over under. Let's do our hip toss. Look at my feet. The leg that's back. I step all the way over. I pivot step. I pivot step. I pivot step. I load them up on my hips. And then I take them down. All right, so jab, cross. Over under clinch. Pivot step. Load them on your back. Take them down. Again, jab, cross. Over under clinch. Pivot step into the underhook. And take them down. Again. Back step, pivot step, jab, cross, over under clinch, hip toss. Two more times. Jab, cross, over under clinch, pivot step. Again, jab, cross, over under clinch, pivot, uh, hip toss. Last one, full speed. Jab, cross, over under clinch, hip toss. All right, last one. Let's go jab, cross, jab, cross, over under clinch, swim into a body lock. Bear hug, bring it down to the back of the waist, to the belt line, and then hip, and then trip them over. Okay, let's go. This will be the last one. Jab, cross, jab, cross. 
over in the clinch. Swim into a double under. Body lock, bring it back, break their back, bear hook. Hard, lean into them. Trip with the outside trip, with the outside leg. Outside leg trip, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Over in the clinch. Swim in for the double, double unders. Body lock, bear hook, trip them, take them down. All right, let's go. Actually, Jenny's gonna do it for me. Triple speed. She's gonna jab, cross, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross. She's gonna over under, over under. She's gonna take it down, take it down. All right, so it's gonna look like that. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Over in the clinch, swim under for the body lock, break the back, take them down. Let's go, three more times, we're almost done. Almost done, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Over under clinch, swim for the double unders, body lock, take them down, break them down. One more. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Over under clinch, double unders, break the back, trip them, take them down. And good, all right. Nice, and just so you remember, Let's practice real quick. We got one minute. We got the plum clinch. Don't forget that. Any moment you're fighting here, any moment you grab the top of the head, you can do the drive in the knees. All right? Drive in the knees. So let's do plum clinch. So plum clinch here. Jab, cross, grab the top of the head. Let's get five, uh, four knees. Right, left, right, left. Bring your head to the knees. Okay, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Plum clinch, grab the head. Drive it to your knees. Four, three, two, one. Again. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Grab the top of the head, bring it down. Pull on it, lean on them. Pull your weight down on it. Bring it towards your knees. Again, pass it. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Plum clinch. Pull it to your knees. Bam, bam, bam. Last one, full speed. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Plum clinch. Bring it to your knees. Bam, 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 bam. Good, and the last one, just so you remember, is the praying mantis. Praying mantis is here, in the inside. This one, you can do whatever you want. You can do knees, knees. You can do elbows, you can knee to the face. Just remember, pray mantis. We don't have time for that one. All right, I think that's good enough. Did we forget anything? <laughs> so we kind of covered all the stuff we've been working, putting it all together. That's how you do this stuff, adding it to your shadow boxing. Hopefully you're still doing the shadow boxing on your own. Okay? All right, everybody, that's good enough. Great job, we got to sweat in. We learned some new moves. Uh, but this stuff, once again, I hear me, I'm, I'm a broken record. Try to find a partner. I don't care if they're nine-year-old little brothers or sisters. It still works, it still applies. You gotta get a feel for the bodies. You gotta get used to these positions, right? At first, jiu-jitsu, people kind of freak out. We're not used to people getting in our faces, right? Getting so close to each other. But you learn that it's a, it's a martial art. It's a martial art of being in these uncomfortable positions. <laughs> And after a while, you become very, very comfortable. I don't freak out at all. When somebody's mounting me or they're choking me out from behind, I don't freak out at all because I know what to do. I've been there a thousand times. I know exactly how to, how to get out. So I don't freak out. I'm nice and calm and nice and relaxed. And that's, what, that's the point I want you guys to get eventually if you practice. In class, at this point of the, of the semester, I would have started having you guys spar a little bit. So spar, sparring, what sparring means is you're drilling with somebody, but they're gonna resist a little bit. Not 100% because I don't want you guys killing each other, but just uh, sparring. So we're here, me and Jenny. So we're, we're gonna spar here and I'm, I'm, she's gonna take me down. I'm gonna resist just a little bit, but she's gonna, she's gonna eventually take me down. So we're sparring here. So I'm gonna make her work a little bit for it. I'm gonna make her work for it. She's gonna try to take me down. Ooh. All right, so she's got me. All right, so then we get back up. We get back up, she's gonna try a different take down. So I'm resisting a little bit, but she, so there, there, boom. <laughs> so we get that. So the partner's resisting. You decide. You decide the you decide the level of resistance. It could be 10%, it could be 20%. If you feel comfortable, eventually you can go 60, 70%. But the whole key is you never want to hurt each other. Your partners are helping you. They're helping you become better. That's how you get better at a martial art. You get practice learning this position. So and you can do sparring that way, or you can do sparring with jabs, okay, just jabs. Just jabs. Just jabs, just jabs, all right, I thought you really tried to hit me, try hit me, try to hit me, <laughs> try to hit me, all right, all right. I feel comfortable, so you decide, or you can tell, no, just don't hit me that hard, just go 10%, you decide the rules, that's what's so great about sparring, you decide the rules, you, you mutually agree, and you guys are helping each other, okay, so these are all options, these are all ways to get better, and it's fun, it is fun when you're, you're learning how to move and play music in the background and you're, you're improving all these different scales. Okay, any questions? 
All right, everybody, so all this stuff is recorded. I put it on the modules. Uh, we basically have, we're at the midpoint, but the last week or two is kind of review. Uh, one of the weeks I do want to cover a little bit of, of knife and maybe gun <laughs> stuff with the weapons, which is kind of tough, because really that stuff is really, there's zero margin of error at that point. So I really want to, I wish I had a whole nother semester for that kind of stuff, but we will cover that at the end. So we really have about five or six weeks to get really good at this ground stuff, okay? Anybody who's late, please stay after. Other than that, have a great weekend.